pues bienvenidos y bien encontrados, ¿verdad? Uh, we, are, we are just said in the uh, responsorial song, proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Uh, in, uh, in the whole Acts of the Apostles, nothing but the great deeds, the magnalia, or great deeds of the Lord. And, and uh, we just celebrated you know, the uh, Church Unity Octave, and we celebrated Saint, the conversion of St. Paul. That's a great, marvelous deed of the Lord, isn't it? And we just celebrated, and then we're asking that the Lord to make another a marvelous deed of the bringing about Christian unity. And also today we're looking at a, another marvelous deeds of Saint Timothy and Titus, bishops. Mm -hmm. And so beautiful it is that we hear in the first reading from Saint Paul to Timothy about not only that, uh, that T Timothy and Titus uh, bring about or helps St. Paul understand his own vocation. He says, I, Paul, an apostle of Christ by the will of God and the, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus to Timothy, my dear child. So he recognizes his own vocation and then also he shows his great relationship uh, to the apostles so we can see how we are to relate to each other with that sense of uh, tenderness, family, uh, family life. So he says, uh, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then he, he pours out his, his own heart to them. He says, I am grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did. So remember also, this is helpful, that uh, the, the living of that of his life as a Jew, <coughs> also, the Apostle Paul, is nothing but a continuation and perfection of that calling as a Jew. So he says, "Whom I worship, I am grateful to God, the same Allah, same God." Hmm? And he says, "Whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did." Uh huh. So there is a continuation. Is the same God of our Lord Jesus Christ. As I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day, and you know, I remember all of you, and so on. So you see how, uh, and then the family, he says, remember uh, how you how you got the faith. Uh, Timothy, you got the first, first lived in your grandmother, Louis. Hey, Paul, real, saw the whole family there. And your mother, Eunice and how you yourself received it and how you were very strong and even though you're a young person don't be embarrassed on the country do it like if you were as old as I am mm -hmm. so it's beautiful isn't it mm -hmm. the family the rootedness the uh, the vocation that it all went and of course when we were reading the gospel here that I that the harvest is abundant but the labors are few uh, that resonates with uh, Father Ernesto mm -hmm. up here you know that uh, as master of the harvest. In fact, that the, uh, the Lord already knew there was going to be a shortage of manpower or people power. Huh? It was already. So uh, the, the clue, he's giving us how to take care of it. It's prayer to the labor, to the har Lord, master of the harvest. To send it is his responsibility, but he needs our cooperation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will never how would you call? We will never solve this problem alone. It will always be a lack of laborers. However, the only way of getting more is that of being in communion with the Father and asking for Him His will to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there, so we we hear these beautiful things of Saint Timothy and Titus and. Uh, uh, and as we said, proclaim God's marvelous deeds. These are marvelous, uh, marvelous saints uh, in the early church to help us understand that. And this is what we do have today. Even as we look at the sunshine, it's a marvelous deed of the Lord. And, and what we have today uh, is, a, is a church with all the sacraments and looking out. That's a marvelous de deed. And in fact, we are 
we are benefiting from the preaching of this great apostle Saint Paul because of he being the the apostle of the Gentiles and we are those Gentiles we're not Jewish we benefited from his preaching his conversion and bringing about the time uh, Titus and Timothy into the ministry so let us then continue praising God for these marvelous deeds that are always in our lives so